Well, good morning. Thank you. I've got something in my basket this morning, and I want some help in telling me what these things are. Anybody know what this is? Medicine. What kind? What kind is it? Cough medicine. That's exactly right. And anybody know what this is? Have you ever had this before? Whatever you, that is, but I'm not sure what it is, but I can't read it, but... You can't read it? Does it say Tylenol? Um, no, yes. On the yes, it does say Tylenol. Oh, that says melt aways. That's for kids so they don't have to swallow it. You can just chew it up, and it's pretty good tasting, so my grandson says. What's this one? What is it? Allergy medicine, that's right. Probably around this time of year, everybody's taking this stuff. And what do you think this would be used for? What? Boo-boos. Boo-boos, that's exactly right. It's a, is it a small boo-boo? Big boo-boo, boo that's exactly right. Okay, what about this one? Would this be a big one, medium or small boo-boo? Medium. Medium. And what about this little bitty one? Teeny boo-boos. Have your parents ever used these on you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Not, the and teeny not the teeny ones, the big ones? Yeah. I bet you get big boo-boos, big, big boo don't you? Well, we get well because we take things like Tylenol and cough medicine and aspirin, and moms and dads put Band-Aids on our hurts and our cuts. Jesus can heal any hurt, big or small, even really big things that people thought could never be healed. There's a story in the Bible in John about a man who went to a healing pool called Bethesda. There were hundreds and hundreds of people there. Some were crippled, some were paralyzed and sick and blind. And one man had been there for 38 years. Is that older than you? 38's older than you, isn't it? And he's just been lying around waiting to get into the pool because he knew the pool would heal him. So Jesus said to him, do you want to get well? And the sick man said he wanted to, but he didn't have anybody to help him get into the pool. Jesus told him to stand up and take his sleeping bag and start walking. Well, the man was very surprised because he's never been able to do that before. But he stood up and realized he could walk. Jesus doesn't need any Band-Aids or medicine or aspirin, only the faith we have in his ability to heal. That man had faith when he stood up and started walking. God does the same thing for us when we go to him with our hurts, big or small. A sin is kind of like another hurt, like when you tell a lie or take something that's not yours or think bad thoughts. Jesus died for those sins today, and today is worldwide communion. We are reminded of his sacrifice and the healing of both our physical hurts and our spiritual hurts. He can heal anything as long as we have faith that he can. Bow your heads, and we'll have a word of prayer before you go. Jesus, give us all the faith of the man at the healing pool. When we hurt or are sick, touch us and make us well again. Go now in peace, and may the love of God surround you everywhere you go. Amen. And I believe there's somebody back there to take you to Children's Church.
the word in scripture is John verses 26 John chapter 6 verses 26 through 36 All that the Father gives me will come to me and him who comes to me I will not cast out for I have come down from heaven not to do my own will but the will of him who sent me and this is the will of him who sent me that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raised up the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up to the last day. Excuse me, I read the wrong verses. I was going from 37. Pardon? Good verses, they absolutely are. Should I go back and start over? <laughs> Now I'll read the correct ones. I was starting with 37 instead of 26. Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, and you seek me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him has God the Father set his seal. Then they said to him, what must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him who he has sent. So that they said to him, Then what sign do you do that we may see and believe you? What work do you perform? Our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus then said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, It was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe. This is the word of the Lord. Somebody needed to hear that today. 